Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I will be showing you guys a what I eat in a day video since a lot of you guys have been asking and requesting. In this video, I will be partnering up with Home Chef. So thank you so much to Home Chef for providing the meals that I'll be cooking in this video and to just make my life easier and save me so much more time. As you guys know, between me and Rex, I am not the chef in the family. Rax cooks everything. Um, I just cook really simple meals, you know? Um, but with Home Chef, I feel like it, they just give me more confidence. It just makes my life easier because I'm one to follow recipe, you know? I have to follow the recipe to the T. They supply you with everything you need and they pack it up in little bags, which I'm gonna be showing you guys. I also wanna let you guys know that you can get $30 off your first box, which is an amazing deal. You can use the code LOVEMANDA here on the screen. I will also leave the direct link down in the description box below, so be sure to check that out. But anyways, um, without further ado, let's just get started with this video. All right guys, so once you open up the box, this is the first thing that you're gonna see. So these are the menus of the items that I picked. Also what's cool about Home Chef is that every week they always have different items on the menu. They always switch it up. So you can always try different things every single time. So you're gonna feel like a little chef, you know? Cause me personally, I honestly don't really cook. You guys know that Rax is the cook in the family, but Home Chef just makes it so much easier for me. Also saves me so much time cause I don't have to go to the grocery stores and buy my groceries or anything like that. You send it straight from your front door and you just pick everything from your phone or your computer. So anyways, these are the four things that I picked for this week's meal. The first one is the crispy onion chicken. Wow, you guys. Look how delicious that looks. And then in the back here, it has the recipe. It shows you guys how to make everything step by step. And as you can see, there's like the three little um, holes right here. So you can just put it in a folder and store it away so you can have this recipe forever and ever. Second one is this umami burger. Ooh, I love sweet potato fries. And this one is a Parmesan sweet potato fries. Ooh, that looks so good. I can't wait to make this. Third item, which is the one I will be making tonight. Huli Huli salmon bowl with jelly. Jasmine rice. Last but definitely not the least is the barbecue ranch steak quesadilla with corn salsa. I'm so sorry. I'm like super duper freaking excited to make these meals for Rax and I. Oh, so excited. I can't wait. So it's obviously wrapped in a super secured like bubble wraps and all that goodness. And it also includes like an ice pack so everything will stay as fresh as possible. You can reuse and recycle. And as you can see, we got our ingredients here. All right, you guys, so this is the first bag. And as you can see, it is labeled crispy onion chicken. So basically each bag will be labeled so you'll know what ingredients goes with what recipe and meal. So that just makes it so much easier. And again, like I said, saves so much time. Today on the menu is the Huli Huli Salmon Bowl. And this is the bag that they provided with all of the pre-measured ingredients so you don't have to worry about anything. And then we also have the two salmon that I'm about to make. In my box, it came with four different meals for two people. So you can basically adjust how many meals and um, how many people will be eating. You know what I mean? This is everything that came inside that bag that we need for the recipe we are making today. Have some salmon fillets. We get some teriyaki glaze over here, some mayo, a lime, crushed red pepper, jasmine rice. Um, we also got some pineapple rings, green onions, and some like cabbage mix. All right, so first things first, you wanna make sure you cook the rice and I've already done that. Ooh, excuse the steam that made it blurry. is we're gonna mix the coleslaw mix 
in a mixing bowl like so. And then we're gonna go ahead and add in our mayo. And I'm gonna go ahead and take one teaspoon of the lime juice and add it in there. One teaspoon, my green onions, and just a little bit of salt. All right, now I'm just gonna go ahead and mix everything together. Once that's done, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this in the fridge until it's ready to serve. All right, and then you just wanna go ahead and pat it dry. Let's add a little bit of salt and pepper. All right, so I'm gonna add my pineapple. the salmon with the skin side up. Woo! So I already put the rice and the salmon on here. So the goal is to look like this picture right here. Close your eyes. Are you ready to see? Absolutely. Alright, open. <laughs> How does oh, that look, baby? Wow, this is good. Is this yeah. Coleslaw? Yeah. Alright, right, guys, so today we are going to be making the umami burger. Oh, look at that. Doesn't it look so delicious? Per Rax's request, because he loves burgers and best believe I don't know how to make burgers unless I buy the pre made patties. But. Today is going to be different. We are going to be making the umami burger with Parmesan sweet potato fries. We both love sweet potato fries, so it's going to be yummy. Okay, so I already preheated the oven to 400 degrees, and then now I'm just going to go ahead and cut the ingredients. Now I'm adding in one table, I mean one teaspoon of the miso paste. Okay, and then I'm just gonna mix it all together. Alright, so now I have the ground beef in here. I'm gonna put in the remaining miso paste. I'm gonna take the Parmesan cheese, but I'm just gonna take half of it because the other half is for the um, what is it called? For the fries. Just combine it with your <laughs> Down and dirty when you cook. <laughs> I'm just gonna place it facing down, like so. I'm just gonna do it until it's nice and golden brown. So this is the goal right here, but we can't make the sauce drip like that, you know. So I already added the sauce that we made earlier onto the bottom of the bun. And then we're gonna add in our red onions. We like a lot of red onions, right? Add our meat and cheese right on top. Meat and cheese. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's what I eat in a day video. I really did. I had an amazing time cooking all these bomb foods for Rax. Rax loved it and I loved it and I can't wait to order more meals from Home Chef. We still have two more to cook but Rax is already telling me that we need to order another box already. So yeah, I can't wait. Again guys, don't forget to use my code LOVEMANDA30 for $30 off your first box with Home Chef. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!